now to the race for the White House. We're live in Tampa, where Hillary Clinton is speaking right now, rallying everyone, and she could soon announce her pick for vice president. Earlier this afternoon, Clinton made a stop in Orlando at the site of one of the worst mass shootings in modern times, the Pulse nightclub massacre, and Mrs. Clinton met with families of the victims. There are lots of developing details this afternoon in the race for the White House. So let's get right to Carlos Suarez. He's live in Tampa tonight with the crowds. Carlos. If you would like to apply Calvin and Lori Clinton took to the stage about 15 minutes ago, and if there was any hope amongst this crowd that she would take to the stage and announce her vice presidential pick, you would be hard-pressed to find any indication of that, at least on what she has said so far. Clinton has saved much of her remarks on Donald Trump and the speech that he gave last night. She called it dark, divisive, and not representative of what this crowd here believes in or what she says is the rest of the country. Here now is Clinton talking about Trump last night. Donald Trump's dark and divisive vision. Last night's speech took it to a whole new level. He offered a lot of fear and anger and resentment, but no solutions about anything that he even talked about. There had been plenty of anticipation that Clinton would announce her VP pick by the time she arrived here in Tampa. These are the three names that have apparently made the shortlist. Virginia Senator Tim Kaine is widely be, uh, believed as being reported really as the person that she will tap to serve as her running mate. They are joined or he is joined rather by uh, Senator or, uh, Agriculture Secretary Tom Vilsack as well as New Jersey Senator Cory Booker coming back out live again. Clinton is still on the stage here from here. She heads to Miami where we're told she will spend the night. She does have a rally at Florida International University Saturday morning and the campaign has said that they expect that rally to be the first time that she will take to the stage with her running mate. Of course, uh, the campaign is not quite saying just yet that that announcement won't take place today. They're just saying right now that it does not look likely that it will happen while she's in Tampa. We're told that that uh, nomination or who she will uh, presumably put forward for the nomination uh, will go out in a text message to supporters at some point either later tonight or tomorrow morning. We are live in Tampa. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News. All right.